Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? CoinOp TV subscribers, Robert Welkney here uh, doing a little live stream. I want to do an unboxing for the Bionic Tetra Power, which is right here. It's a Joy-Con charging unit. You can charge up to four Joy-Cons for your Nintendo Switch. And I want to do a quick little unboxing, show you the packaging, show you what it looks like outside of the box. Of course, Bionic, the people over Bionic sent this to me to check out. And I'm in a little bit of different space here, just thought I'd kind of switch it up with live stream. Still live streaming off my iPhone there. So uh, I'll give you guys some shout outs, guys and gals, some shout outs there. Let me, uh, let me refresh my page so I can get chat going here. What's up, Iron Man? What's up, uh, Toy Movie Bros? What's up, Angel? Some familiar faces popping in chat there. So uh, shout outs to all you guys and gals. James TH, hope you're having a great Sunday afternoon. Hope all is well. Okay, so this is the Tetra Power. It retails for $24.99, $25 to keep it uh, short. Uh, it's quad port charging dock for Joy-Con controllers. I'm reading off the website over here. You can conveniently attach uh, four Joy-Cons to this, to dock, and it has kind of an aesthetic, cool aesthetic to it that kind of matches, you know, a nice pleasing uh, design there. Uh, so let me get it started. Let's see, features. Conveniently attaches this to the Nintendo dock so you can charge using the Nintendo Switch dock with this. Designed to match the aesthetic of the Nintendo Switch LED charge status indicator. So those are kind of the three main features of that. So let's see, here's, here's the box. Let me just kind of spin it around. Show you guys there. Does everything look okay? I'm using kind of the sunlight from there. Maybe I'll turn and face that direction from my window. So natural lighting. Uh, all right, so we got we got three things to tape here. So bear with me as I get my scissor out, my BB-8 scissor out here from the color to uh, slice and dice this box open there. By the way, uh, one of our contributors, John in Florida, has been putting together some gameplay for uh, the Lego Ninjago video games. So I hope to get some of that up uh, soon on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV. So please subscribe. All right, we got the uh, manual up on top there. Uh, I like the, uh, everything looks kind of futuristic with the uh, bionic branding and stuff like that. So here's a little bit of a manual, how to slide Joy-Cons in there. Hopefully we won't need that. Got a little safety safety cushion there, keep everything inside. Okay, so here is kind of the basic unit. <laughs> it actually looks cool. It doesn't look like a charging unit for Joy-Cons at all. I think that's it on the box. Put that over there. I got my neon Joy Cons over here. You guys hear and see me okay and everything? Somebody in chat said that they can't hear me. Am I talking loud and clear? <laughs> my dog just looked over me. So here's the wire here. This is great. I like that this is uh, just kind of wrapped up and tucked away. We got a USB wire. Let's see if I can get it out of there. It's so tucked in there, it's hard to get out. There we go. And it just conveniently comes out from the back there. You see that okay? So there we go. Looks like it's about maybe a foot. Is that about 12 inches? Maybe maybe more, maybe about 15 inches. Probably says on here how long how long it is, but uh, hey Portal Power TV is in chat. What's up? What's up, Nitro Joseph? Angel says natural light. Yeah, I just got some sunlight coming in there. Hopefully it looks it looks good. All right, so here's the big test. Here we got blue Joy-Con, right Joy-Con. Let's go ahead and slide him in there. I don't know if it's a he. There we go, we get the little snap. So I don't have four Joy-Cons. So maybe if you got like the Splatoon ones or something, you know, you'll have four. Here we go. So it almost looks like it could be used as a little controller, you know, like a little mini controller or something like that, but that's not what it's made for. So if I had two more, I would be able to uh, slide in four total here. There you go. I'll give you a little idea of things. Trixa says you need more Joy-Cons. You know, 
I hardly ever play with the Joy Cons, to be honest. Uh, once I got the Pro Controller, I kind of never went back. So, uh, you know, my hands are human adult hands. So holding on to the Joy Cons seems so small. Uh, you know, when I play games like um, you know Require, or kind of utilize the Joy Cons a little more then uh you know i'll use that it needs you know motion control or something like that so there it is i don't have my dock nearby but you can plug into uh the dock the uh, nintendo switch dock and have that nearby keep them charged uh you can probably also plug this into a computer i'd have to check the specs on that um or if you know if you want to get in a little adapter and plug it into your wall you probably do that I'm not seeing anything else in here, any restrictions on that. So pretty cool. I guess, you know, just objectively, if you wanted to have this farther away from your dock, maybe the wire could have been a little longer, but how far away, you know, are you going to have it from your dock? Angel says, maybe turn up your volume. I uh, turn up your volume. You guys can all hear me okay, right? It's, it's, it's the other guy's volume that's too low or something, because this is what I normally do. I normally live stream on my phone here, and uh, it just seems to go with automatic. Uh, settings and stuff like that. Check out my, my old school printer back there. <laughs> this is where I kind of like print up and do my invoices and my my technical stuff. This is a little more of my another side of my studio. So Portal Power TV says I can hear you just fine. All right, and Portal Power TV is a mod, so you guys will all best behave in chat. Iron Man says now I can hear you. Did you do anything? Did you turn up your volume? Put headphones on? Uh, so well, I'm glad you can hear me. Uh, so here it is. So uh, for twenty five bucks, I think I think this seems cool. You know, I uh, I haven't tried this yet. Um, I'd be curious to see you know how the LED lights up there. See when you have these plugged in, when there's power on this guy, uh, you get some LED lights up on top there to show you the uh, charging. It looks like on this box, it looks like they're red up there. Maybe red means they are charging. Maybe they change color when they're not. I'll have to test this out. What I do is I do these quick unboxings online, do a little shout shout outs. We have a little fun with this. And then I actually take the products, test them out. And then on the website, I do kind of a more comprehensive review with the details linked to the uh, the website where you can check this out. It's Bionic. It's spelled, if you didn't know, it's spelled B-I-O-N-I-K. It's, I think it's kind of a new company. You know, they sent me they sent me over uh, a couple things. They sent me over this uh, uh, Gig, GigaNet adapter. That's the way you pronounce that. And I thought, well, I'll do an unboxing of this in another video. But I'll give you a sneak sneak peek. It looks like that. Maybe like Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll do an unboxing for that. But for this one, mainly wanted to get the uh, Tetra Tetra Power unboxing on there now you're playing with power right so 25 bucks uh here's the features conveniently attaches to the nintendo switch dock for easy use designed to match the aesthetic of the nintendo switch console which does that actually it, it looks nice i saw this in person at a preview event months ago and i thought it looked kind of cool and i thought oh hey i'd like to get one of those i know it looked it looks kind of cool like to just have like that like you got this weird thing where you're like hey i got a quick quick little Joy-Con display. Like if you have if you have multiple Joy-Cons and you're just looking for a way to display them, this is kind of another option uh, for that. Uh, other features, built-in cable management system for customized cable length and storage. So as you can see, you can rewrap up the, you can rewrap up the cable inside there and tuck it away. And there's a little, a little nib right there. I don't know what you call that where you can Put the wire in there so that this lays flat there you go so things aren't you know tilting over good design overall uh, the last feature says led charge status indicators on the website it doesn't say what color they are that's the only thing that's kind of a little bit of a missing uh missing element right now i'm looking in the book here here's the, here's the book check things out so Seems cool. Thanks, Bionic, uh, for uh, sending that over there. Thanks to uh, shoutouts. Let's see who we got in chat here. Angel, Serene, uh, Disney, uh, looks like Chloe is in chat and says, say hi to me. Well, you know, your name is so long, it took me a second to read your full name there. 
Uh, Portal Power TV says good price for twenty five bucks. I don't know how much a normal uh, Joy-Con controller things cost. Is twenty five bucks? Does that sound reasonable? You have to let me know in chat right now, live, or if you guys are watching this on the archive uh, after we live stream, you have to let me know on that. So, uh, if you guys are familiar with Portal Power TV's channel, check that check that guy's out channel. Just just passed a million views on his Deadpool video, which is is cool. So. Shout outs to them. Trickster says normally twenty five to twenty nine dollars for charging units. All right, so it's in a good thing. I think the the look of this to me seems cool. Like I'm I'm into like a good design. If something looks like it's gonna fall apart, like I feel like if I um, if I have this set on the table, you can't really see it. I've got it set down on the table there. That seems pretty pretty stable. It's got a little wiggle to it, but it doesn't look like it's going to fall over, smash up your Joy-Cons. And it uh, looks kind of cool. Now, now I kind of almost want to get two more Joy-Cons and just always have four of them just sitting there like on my toy shelf or something. A little a little Joy-Con display or something. So, hey, Gamer Twins is in chances. Disney Infinity Forever. Yes, of course. The new Disney Infinity is coming out in 2020. It's going to be amazing. We're going to love it. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. Well, I think that's it. Uh, Trix says, Rob, get pink and green set. All right. Again, I mostly use the Pro Controllers, so I'm not really using the uh, Joy-Cons all that much. But, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe when um, Mario Odyssey comes out, uh, super, uh, you know, I'll be playing a little more of that with my Joy-Cons, using the little wrist flicking there to get that hat uh, cappy around. Uh, so maybe that'll be a thing. So, uh, all right, Coin FTV subscribers, thanks a bunch for watching. Shout outs to all you guys and gals. I'm going to start working on some of the Lego Ninjago videos that my buddy, uh, my contributor, John Buddy, sent me in Florida there so I can get those up to you guys. And um, I guess that's it for this video. Maybe maybe Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, do another unboxing for this guy here. Thanks so much for watching. Shout outs to all you guys and gals. We'll see you later.